could have some vent holes, but it's gonna yeah. seal from rain, but have vent holes. Yeah, like. Yeah. And then we'd have to cut. I mean, you're only opening it to fill it up and take it out and put it back in here. That's true. There's the floor. Yeah, that's the floor. So that's about 27. If the ground is levelish, so maybe 26. Because normally these step vans often have a sliding door on the driver's side too. Oh, yeah, that's huh. And this one here, I think this panel. No, look, there's a strut here. Look, there's a strut here. Yeah. There's bolts here. Sorry. Yeah. They would these rivets wouldn't be here if there had been a sliding door pocket. So this one never actually had a sliding door on the driver's side by the looks of them. I always thought it did and then removed it, but this wall and that means to, seems to indicate that it wasn't. Sides and hinge. So yeah, we'll need some piano hinge. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I just woke up. It's beautiful out. I just realized today is the day that my welder is coming and we're going to start the installation of my propane. Oh, I have been waiting for this moment for so long. This oven, I currently can't use because it's propane. And I went to an RV shop and I was like, could you hook up my propane, please? And they were like, sorry, we only have tickets for uh, recreational gas fitting. You have a domestic oven in a recreational vehicle. Therefore, it's against our liability, blah, 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 blah. And while I respect that, I understand it. It makes sense. <laughs> The way I worked around is instead of getting an underslung tank that sits underneath the van, we're making a propane locker and we're running a hose and plugging it straight in. The locker will be underneath the van, hose will come up through the floor. Bob's your uncle. This is how I have been cooking a one burner sitting on top of this beautiful oven. Also, this is the reality of van life. My kitchen bench is a mess. I did not clean up last night. I am halfway through making tomato relish. He has arrived. The let the propane installation begin. I am still heating water for my breakfast. That's what we were going for. Be right on where the members are. Oh, that's perfect. Right where we were going for. Okay. Oh my some... gosh, there's a big hole in my van. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's perfection and measurements. Yeah, yeah. Well, we did we did the right amount of planning for a, job, for a thing as important as cutting into your van. Oh, that's so good. 
and I'm glad that we left this piece here. Yeah, totally. That's a good solution. And it seems pretty sturdy. Like, it's not floppy. No. It's pretty good. It's really good. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's not really a big deal at all. You're right. Punky, this is not this is not your van. It's <laughs> funny. Cats like my truck and my car. I guess they like all vehicles. This cat is an adventure cat. Nice. We'll we'll go into anything. I'm so glad that you have tools and know how to do this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Drilling, thanks. drilling, and riveting. Big deal. I think anytime you learn a new skill, there's such a steep learning curve that sometimes it's just worth, you know, paying a professional. Yeah, I guess if, especially if, yeah, that's true. If you want it to look really nice and you want to, to not learn things the, some things the hard way yeah i learned enough things the hard way already i think um, now that's like off and i've been able to like look at it a bit like when my hands in the resting position like the moth is like facing directly at me rivets Quack. are fucking magical yeah they're pretty good just bam like that yep <laughs> it's about the the drilling and the hole pattern is really the trick like that's really right there's not a lot to it for it's sure freaking amazing some strength. Yeah, that's true. With oh, it's a home. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. One thing I'll show you is yeah. um, so when we We've added the hinge. Yeah, it brings it down a little yep. tiny bit. It does. Which is probably good because it will cover out. We do need it to go down. Mm -hmm. We kind of gained our little bit that we lost already with that. Yeah. The only thing is it looks kind of weird, that's all. Yes, it's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> that was so fast and well, that's the easiest so easy. part. Yeah. Uh, yes. Now I'm going to look at um, mounting the box. Yeah. Well, I'm making the box. Making the box. But so I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to look over all my drawings and make sure I kind of have all the information, and then basically go and make yeah. the pieces and think about how because they're, they're just going to be bolted in, Perfect. and uh, yeah, I'll come back with a bunch of pieces. <sighs> well, it has been a very long warm dry couple of months which has been really lovely and I have much appreciated being outside so much and the beautiful beautiful sunshine lots of swimming lots of driving places adventuring I am incredibly grateful but the earth really needs some water the land really needs a drink and so I cannot wait for the rains to come, for it to get cooler, for my oven to work so I can bake pies, to put the fire on a lot more consistently. It's going to be wonderful. I think my body is actually ready for a shift in seasons, a move towards coolness and retreat and slowing down and rest, recuperation, taking care of myself. <sighs> Yeah, I think Siren and I are ready. We're ready. Especially now that I've put some silicon around the roof, <laughs> I feel a lot happier. I need a wide angle lens. She's a thing of beauty. Look 
this beautiful box. This is where my propane tank's gonna go. Huzzah! Put it in there? Yeah. Awesome. Good. I was gonna suggest maybe do that. <laughs> Yay! It fits! Good. Look at that! This is a horizontally mounted propane tank, so it has the extra brackets and it has a gauge so you can see how full or empty it is. Uh, and it's going to sit inside this, which is going to sit over there. Oh, it looks so good! Oh, not bad. Not okay, so bad. It's, the reason it's sitting proud is because of that little bit That's at the right. back corner. Confident yeah. it'll still fit. Well, the thing is, is I was hoping to do one here and one here, uh, but now, so that's not going to work. You have to do one. I guess so. Probably still plenty f pr strong. Yeah. So just think about that. Two would have been really great, though. Oh, I'll show you. It's just a threaded rod. Oh, okay. Just a quarter-inch threaded rod. To so that would go through. Yeah. Because that brackets it in. The strength of it all. Yeah. How about, and is that the positioning of the tank, except for straighten it out a little bit, but... Yeah, I mean, centered or there, or... Well, keep there. in mind that these, they're going to be drop-down bars here, right? Yeah. So centered in between the bars is probably easiest for you to get it in and out. Okay. And then, I guess this hose will um, probably come around the front of the bar, so that it doesn't have to curve so much. And well, that'll it's a pretty flexible hose, so I think yeah. it would do... Yeah, well, no, like, it'll work just the way it is, only the bar will drop through yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. These are the support brackets to hold up the box. Huzzah! And this has gotten covered in leaves for a wee while. You know what I mean? Because other, like, otherwise it's just to be a little bouncy and it would probably be safe, but this really makes it safe. Hello, Punky, you're in the shot. <laughs> it's so cute. Aww. She's like, it's warm in there. I don't want to come Hello. out, but I want to know what's going on. Yeah, where'd you go? We'll get some nuts on those. You're supposed to stay in the shot, kitty. There it is. It's all locked in. And this hole will be where the thing goes out. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, like a glove. Yep. And I, uh, I have one, <laughs> which is more luck than anything, uh, but not, not all the ones that we're going to need right now. Uh-huh. Oh, that's and amazing. The, water not the, right size. the other thing I might need your help with is drilling a hole through the floor where the pipe has to come up underneath the oven. Well, that makes sense, yeah. Okay. This is the exciting bit! That's the door! Wow! Aunt Rivet's freaking magical. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do one? <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to laugh, I just think it, you'll be like Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> and then you just pump it? You, you have to, um, yeah, it can, it's all about that squeeze until it goes pop. I know. I know, I just thought that you might want to experience this. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> yep, and then that should come out, just jiggle out, and your rivet is, should be just fine. That, that happens sometimes. And you can just use pliers. Yay! Wow, that was a lot more squeeze than I expected. Right? <laughs> can I do one more? You bet! I wasn't going to force you. There you go. Yeah, do it from the whole thing. Okay, so then this goes this way? Mm hmm. No. You can do either. You can stick it in the material or the gun. Uh, but what's important is when you initiate the squeeze, yeah. two things, that the rivet is tight yeah. here and that the tip is tight to the rivet. Okay. Like that. And now, yeah, now it just squeeze until... It goes You pump. can actually do it without doing that first, but it's even harder. Yeah! <laughs> without doing what first? Without um, sort of choking it up, like I was saying, like, Get, it, get all the advantage oh. you can. That is to say, get as close as, get the tool as close oh, to the rivet, and the rivet is close to the hole. Okay. But yeah, you're doing good, you got it. Get in there, get in there. 
this is like how to get hand muscles. <clears throat> yep. Yep, or a carpal tunnel or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, feel free to give up. No. But you got your freaking wrong up, bro. <clears throat> Yeah. I know, after you've done a few of them, you start to get like the right, you realize the, sort of where you have to stand and how you have to hold your arm. Oh, I just... think I might have bent this one slightly. Probably not a problem. Yep, they're a little bit more Okay. I got the last one. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I did that before I left last time. Huh. Because it's, it's got a cover, right? It's got yeah. a cover right down to the bottom. That's awesome. I don't know why it fucking does that. Well, it's probably but, just this, the hinge. Yeah, I guess so. But by the time we get a latch, that won't matter. Um, it's going to hear it by blunk, 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 blunk down the road. Yeah. Boy, well, not if you get the latch to, to pull it tight, right? Yeah. Then it's almost a good thing. Because then the latch will hold into its little clevis or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Woohoo! And for the time being, I might suggest like a, a, a bungee. Oh, I want to. So strong. Just the right shape, we need it, all sealed up. Happy about that one. Yay, me too. Sure. Good luck with the move. Thank you. Thank you for fitting me in before you leave. No problem. Oh, well, I committed to you already. So, <sighs> no worry. Uh, yeah, sort of Be enjoy, proud of it. Enjoy it a little bit. Yeah, worked out good. Okay, better go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much for that. Thanks. Oh, so pretty in the sunshine. Sunshine! Oh my God. Stopped raining for a hot minute. <laughs> Finally, the day's come. I have my propane hose, propane tank that is set up to mount sideways, and my propane locker is ready. So let's just connect, disconnect this hose. require some untangling and then attach the regulator tank. Right, I'm gonna do that right now. It is time. I have to get this oven out. Drill a hole down the back here if I can to connect my propane. Oh I'm so excited and so close but this may or not move and it's I built everything around it, so. Thank goodness this oven is even moving. I freaking hope I can get it back in again. Oh my god. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Um, I don't know if my drill is going to be powerful enough. But I did get a brand new hole saw bit for my drill so that the bit is super sharp because it's wooden floor and then metal floor. And so this is a metal multi-material hole dozer tooth design for metal surfaces. So the trick is, is this battery drill going to be strong enough? because I might need a corded drill, in which case, it's gonna have to wait. <gasps> I don't know about you, but sometimes a job just seems so overwhelming that you just procrastinate, you do everything else, but the thing that you're supposed to do because the thing that you're supposed to do feels too difficult. That is where I have been for like the past three weeks. And I've been promising you this video about my propane install and my beautiful oven that I really want to use. But I've been procrastinating. Procrastinating real hard. When you're doing stuff all by yourself, sometimes things just feel like a lot. Easier. 
we change cameras, get a light, <coughs> and show you what I'm doing. Right. We have light. There's a hole already there. We're going to drill another hole here. And I'll show you the back and underneath the oven so that we can get gas finally connected up here. And behind my oven, down here. And that's the power coming out here, which I have currently tucked in here. I think all that does is run the fan and the light. So I really need the hole somewhere to line up as close as possible to this. Like. There. Okay, we have a hole through the meadow. Hooray! There's no beam. Can I get now the rest? Look, let me show you. That's the floor. You can see that shitty bubble insulation that's underneath the floor. Now with it, these blades can grip into here. I'm using this as like the kickback bracket so it's not wrecking my wrist or my arm. Very lucky. It's right under <laughs> my water tank. Okay. So if I just have a look from underneath, the beam goes, runs right through. I need to drill another hole about here. And hopefully that should better take out this piece. I can totally get my propane line up through that hole. And now it is night time and I'm still working on this. I'm gonna climb under the van in just a second, poke the hose up through the hole. The hole needs a really good filing, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow in the daylight, not right now. I can pull the oven back out. At least we can test it in the meantime. All right. I'm going to pull it in from the top. Yay! Now, the next job is to connect it to the oven and I have some it's like plumber's tape to stop it from leaking except for gas. And we have to do a gas leak test. Oh, I got this. Oh. Hi Siren. This is the stuff I'm gonna use to seal the gas pipe. You can see that this has already been used around here, so I'm going to apply some more to that. And then attach these two together. And hopefully it will work. 
here is my joint you can see that I've connected it there is a lot of yellow tape in there I've tightened it as tight as I can and I've closed this red socket it's a ball socket ball valve I think it is a ball valve I've closed the ball valve so I can turn it on at the propane tank and then not turn this on till I'm right here listening smelling checking testing okay here's the propane tank there's the hole that the cable goes out of and that's what it looks like so time to turn the tank on Let's see how we go. Now, the tank is not screwed on. This is not a roadworthy setup because I also plan to put a casing around this entire pipe as it goes under the van and I need to go into town to go and buy that um, the next couple of days. But I really wanted to see if this would work. When I'm driving, I will completely just attach this hose and store it inside. It will not go under the... and actually the tank won't either because I don't have a proper latch. All right, turn it on. I am pushing that ball joint entirely outside so that any open joints for the propane will be outside, not inside. So I'm now gonna push the oven all the way back and then I will be able to reach this outside and do whatever I need to do to make sure it's fully sealed. And I'll probably do that off camera because it's really dark and I'm tired and hungry. Look at this beauty. <sighs> Thanks for being encouraging and supportive. Bye. This is a super proud moment for me in the van build and my step van. Super proud of the fact that I have managed to make a domestic oven fit in my tiny home on wheels. I can cook. I love cooking. I love making things. And I cannot wait to show you a whole lot more stuff that I'm going to make, bake, prepare on this stove. See you later. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. I post every Wednesday. I love you. Thank you for watching. A huge thank you to my Patreons. Oh, you've been such a support lately. I love you very much. Bye.